I like to think that by now most of us are very similar when it comes to weird stuff that we play on the channel. Whether it be cryptids, aliens, or to be honest, anything to do with the paranormal. There's honestly just something about not knowing what you're getting into that creates that excitement. At least for me, anyway. I don't want to speak for you guys, but at least for me. You are Cliff, a brand new freelance cameraman for Paranormal Entities, the number two ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoors cable network. You've been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. Go into the facility, follow the producer's instruction through the radio earpiece, keep your camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you'll get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera, you'll get an additional $2,500 bonus. Are you ready to be part of the paranormal entity's history? I've said it before, but I really love when these kind of games are much more of an overall experience, like there's some kind of story going on, like in this instance it seems to be with some kind of earpiece and we're doing it for a TV show, rather than having to grind something to accomplish anything. I feel like the story aspect of it is way more satisfying for me, so hopefully we get something a little bit unique out of this, but to be honest, I don't know. So here we go with Paranormal Entities. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay. I actually didn't realize there would be, like, full-on dialogue in this. That's interesting. Main lobby, west social area, east social area. Morgue. <laughs> Rooms 200 to 219, 220 to 239. So this place is massive then. Got it. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's Ew. the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. What? I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Aww. That's such a sad way of looking at things like that. I've seen that before in, like, horror movies or the suggestion of that. Is that supposed to happen? Where you just leave people in places just to die <laughs> that's such a horrible way of thinking about it guess we're gonna get some kind of heads up on where to go in the end this place was sort of against what the bible's supposed to teach i mean there was no love here no grace no healing the patients were not here to be rehabilitated ordinary people oh, just wanted them gone for public they shove those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths and murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. So what you're saying is, there's a lot of pent-up frustration and pain that still lingers in the fibers of these walls. Nice. <laughs> Seems like the perfect place for us to film some documentary-style stuff, right? Also, I'm not moving too far ahead because I'm guessing that the dialogue is kicking in when I get to certain this parts like the that. There we go. Ways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from Oh my bed. god. Be careful where you step. Yeah. Right, so we got patient rooms, morgue, surgical rooms, the pharmacies this way as well. Something tells me I'm gonna have to get to a specific area with a quickness, so I'm gonna try and make a point to 
know where everything is. What is that word there? Janitorial? Like a janitor janitor's room or something? Ooh. Hold on a second. Let me get familiar with everything. Patient rooms, nurse's office, admin, HR. All right, let's see what this is. All right, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Oh, don't do that. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. We gotta be really quiet, okay, right? Okay, play that back. Let's know that you're here. Uh, nothing. Alright, let's try that again. I love that. I love the way they did that. Listening to the, the actual static to see if it's picked anything up. I really do like that. That's a nice little touch. I'm gonna try something else. So we're going through like the motions of an investigation right now, right? Trying to stir up something All to right, give us a reaction. Right. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. Oh, we're gonna hear something. All right, let's try one more spot. Okay. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. Oh my fuck! Ooh, you dick! Oh, you dick! I was just about to oh, say, don't use that. provocation. Play that back. Play that back. Oh my god! Pricks. That was so loud Show as well. Up or piss off. N Oh, all right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway, and we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. Morgue was this way, right? So you don't care what happens, right? As as long as you get what you're looking for as a producer, <laughs> I'm completely expendable. Wait, the morgue's that way. Why can't we go there? Ah, oh, there we go. So what else is down here? Oh, this is where the surgical rooms are. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the East Social Area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who are deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. You see... I know you guys know this, and I've said in the past that I would do this. I would absolutely do an investigation in like an old building or something that's got rich history around it. <laughs> but whenever I see things like this, I know it is like a completely in a game state and stuff, but when I see things like this, I'm like, what would I do in this situation <laughs> if I even heard something remotely scary? I know what I do. I'd probably shit all over myself and go running out the building as quick as possible. This is the entrance to patient cells 200 to 219. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Ooh. Some really freaky pictures as well. Right, so that's the staircase. We have patient rooms over here. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. Mm -mm. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. Oh, not the Peeper. You think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but <laughs> the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. 
Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta say, I love the idea of having an earpiece in while you're going through a place like this. I think that is a very cool take on this. And I think if I ever did something like this, I absolutely would have to have that. Like, I'd have to have some kind of communication. I know, I definitely couldn't do this on my own. So, I like the way they've done this. So, that over there is where they house the lunatics. That's where the people was. All right. So, what kind of ritual we got going on now? Spirits inside this asylum, we know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. I can't turn the flashlight on. What's happening? Don't just stand there. Go go check it out. I can hear something breathing on my neck. Holy shit, that made me freak out. So I, like I actually, you know when you raise your shoulders up? <laughs> I was like squinching down into my body trying to get rid of that noise. Right, so this is the lunatic hallway. Nothing. Who? I feel like I can hear running. It's just a sound. Oh, that one's open. Right, I'm not going in there because you already know what's going to happen. The minute I see. Oh! The minute I step foot over that fresh thresh <laughs> You know what? It is what it is, guys, okay? I'm freaking out, okay? I don't know what you expect from me. The minute I step over this threshold is when I'm going to get locked in there and I'm not doing it. <sighs> that is weird, though. Like, <laughs> that's not what you expect to see. Maybe... The bed stood up like that. Oh, I was just about to say, I'd be kind of happy. I don't want to go in there. I really don't want to go in there. You know she's going to come sprinting towards my face. We're recording this, so we get the two and a half thousand right now. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, that made me jump. Alright, get out of this hallway and, and take a take your second right. Yeah, let's close these doors, please. Thank you. Oh, why did you make me go down there? Oh, somebody's definitely asking for a punch in the throat when I leave this building. Isolation rooms over that way. Did he say this way? There's some freaky noises happening too. Nope. I'm so happy that I don't have to go towards that way where the surgery is. This way? Did he say go to the stairs? I'm really not paying attention to him. At this point, I really couldn't care what he says. He's put me in a situation that I hate. <laughs> he should be in here with me experiencing this. Not sat from the comfort of his van. Just watching what happens. East social area, pharmacy, patient rooms, fire escape. Am I supposed to go this way? Try this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. <laughs> I didn't know there was a hold on, hold place on. That down here. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the? F what? What is going on? All right, all right. Just. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. 
I mean, you could come in here and then open the doors. I actually didn't realize if there was anything there. But if that's just appeared, then that is... <laughs> that's so trippy. You just wouldn't come down here. Permanent isolation, gas chamber, silent room, incinerator. Don't open. No. I can hear somebody saying no. Judas Cradle, Brazen Bull, the boat. Is that bull thing the, uh, the the kind of thing where they used to put people in in medieval times and then just like heat it up while people were inside it? I don't know the name, the name of that device. Okay, we've reached the bottom. Oh, I gotta step over that. I tiptoe around it. The candles are lit too. I think there's something twitching in there too. Look at that. Oh my god, it's upside down, whatever it is. No. Nope. I'm so happy that none of these are opening right now. Oh, I thought that was just slightly open with something peeking. Of course. This is taking us deeper into th this surgical area, I think this said. <laughs> this looks exactly like where the lunatics were held. Oh, that means it's the fruit. Wait. Wait, I think this has just changed. Yeah, it did. I thought I was going to be forced to go back to that room where that thing was. Oh, whenever things change like this, it's so freaky because you get so easily lost. Try and build like a, a mental map of things. And then there's no point to doing that because it just changes every time you go through a new door. I'm pretty sure we've got all the footage we would need. say <laughs> so I just thought I'd say it you know let's get a little bit of that frustration out there my poor heart did a damn backflip but no saliva left I'm shaking See, what would really freak me out? I know, I know, I know, I know saying this. And I know I'm going to try and stop doing that. But is if I went to one of these doors, they didn't open, but then like a face or a hand just squashed right against the glass. <laughs> that would seriously trip me out. Okay, ooh. The way it changes in an instant, too. Oh, wait a second, what? Oh, what? Don't see, no eyes. Turn off my flashlight, maybe? I can't really turn this off. It's, it's like one deal. Maybe look away? Oh. I can't reach through the bars. Wait, oh my, oh no, no, no.
This is absolutely horrifying. The fact that you have no bearing on where you're going, it feels like one of those older style games where it doesn't look like much is going on, but oh, there's so much happening. All right, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kind of hid this from you. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the, there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man, and uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day, you know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night, he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself, and while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive would stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary, I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights too. His pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. What kind of advice is that? Try and get out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes, or use a fork to gouge them out. <laughs> what? Do you guys hear, like, things ramp up then, towards the end when he was talking? we not pick up the eyes? No. Alright, where you at, Peeper? Ooh. That's a surgical bed. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. <laughs> no. 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 Nope. I really thought we'd be able to hide in these things. They look like the perfect size to be able to just hide away from something. Oh, God, what do you want me to do? I don't know what you want me to do. Did I miss something? No, 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 no. So what is it? When I go into the dark? I see you now. Oh, my God. Is that him? Okay, that's him. Time to go. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, no. I, I cannot sprint. This is this is all I've got. Oh. I'm going. I'm doing the best I can. Over, please. Stupid question. I know you're not. I, holy crap. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're getting a picture from your camera. Bad news is it's pitch black. There, there's no light. Your room, there's nothing I could see. The flashlight went out, and, and we, we don't even know where you are. I'm not going in there. I, I, do you, are you going in there? I'm not going in there. I'm Hell no. Look. Uh... I'm... 
if you can't feel anything, I, I'm sorry, but we're not coming. I'm sorry, man. I have to go. I'm sorry. And they left me there to rot. Thank you for playing. Please leave a review on the page and let me know your thoughts about the game. My name is Al Heck, and I made this game in 10 days for the Scream Jam 2020 event. That's really impressive. Again, it really did have that old school vibe, which I have missed with a lot of games, and I really like the addition of the earpiece, so you're basically getting an explanation of everything as you're going through this place. And I guess it was inevitable that I was going to be led down some path to which I couldn't escape, so... <laughs> Either way, that was Paranormal Entities. If you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more stuff like this, drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one. You've got a choice. Either he gets you... I'm not doing it. Or you're, you're going to have to cut him out. I'm not doing it. Holy crap. I can't believe it. That was the most disturbing, terrifying, and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom. We're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk shows, paranormal entities, movies, spin-offs, freaking coffee mugs, and kids shows. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Him? Him? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. I mean, we don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No, no, no. We're getting out of here. And uh, anyways, another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So so we, we basically got all this footage for free, dude. Let's wow. Just up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours, just a little bit too long. I'm a little sore. I need to stretch out. And my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. All right, I'm going to do it. Whoa. Yes, get him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? Shh, listen, listen. That that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? So, listen. Shh. I see you now. <laughs> okay, nice. So at least a little bit of payback on that second ending. I'm happy with that.